get in the deep. That's been a theme this morning. We've Absolutely. been digging it in the deep from compost, and now what about our plants, right? That's right, and this is the season where we start spending more time indoors. Yeah. Air could get a little stale, but we've got solutions. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's so we right. have Rich Gladwin from Farmer John's Home and Garden in Farmington Hills right here with us, brightening up my day. Good to see you again. It's yes. good to be here. Thank you again for having me. Uh, it's just like you're saying, uh, this time of year, Pretty drab, very cold outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all. It, it's a good time to bring life into the home, add color inside, uh, in preparation for spring when you right. can have it all outside again. And we just come from Christmas, where we think because we've either gotten a poinsettia or we bought one that we really know what we're doing. Because <laughs> all we tried to do with that plant was just get it to live for you know three weeks. Hi. Just get it through New Year's. But this exactly. is different because we're yep. investing some money, and some of us are. Intimidated. That's a good point too, because uh, as you're speaking about it being an investment, a lot of people want to bring color into their home with cut flowers and bouquets and sure. things like that. This is a great alternative to that. That's going to last significantly longer mm -hmm. than than just going to a florist and getting bouquets and things like yeah. that. Right. Um, you know, something like this would work as a centerpiece on a table, something in a coffee it's table. Beautiful. This is called uh, what? This is a bromeliad, which okay. you know. Yeah, don't act um, like you didn't know what it's called. I, I, I want to make sure the expert tells me. You know, calancho. Uh, um, like this Bless guy you. here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then um, African, African violets. violets. Right. Um, orchids. Orchids yeah. are a fantastic plant to add color. Uh, they bloom for a long period of time. It is a reblooming house plant. Beautiful. Uh, great for color. They come in a variety of different shades. They can be in shade too, right? They can. Yeah. They can. And that's another point too is that a lot of major concerns that people have is do I have enough light in my house? Right. Pretty much everything that you see that's considered a tropical house plant right. uh, is an under foliage plant. They grow beneath the rainforest canopy. They don't need a lot of sunlight. They don't mm. need a lot of space because that condition see, is See, don't be crowded. intimidated. They I grow know. in the rainforest. Yeah, you exactly. know, so here's the thing. So you get someone like me walking in, not a green thumb person like Chuck. I'm intimidated. I don't know what works for my space. I don't know about water and light and yeah. all this stuff, but I can come in and you can help me out, right? Definitely. That's what that's what we do. That's what we're here for. Uh, anybody that has any questions, you come into the store, we'll we'll tell you how often to water. We'll tell you mm -hmm. Proper placement, uh, you know, can this tolerate being somewhat close to a drafty window? Right. Is this something, um, is it high humidity? Is it, right. it, but again. Is there a general rule for watering? Not necessarily. <clears throat> I, the big thing is that wow. you don't want to overwater. Okay. Overwatering yeah. is actually worse than underwatering. Wow. Uh, which a lot of people think, oh, if it goes dry, it's, it's, it's done. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually worse to have them overwatered because the plant will actually become waterlogged and start rotting out. Hmm. Okay. That's where disease and all kinds of Good different things know. start happening. It's easier to bring it back if it's underwatered than if it's yeah. overwatered. Overwatered. Oh, wow. This is really good to know. Really good. Lots to know. of good tips. <clears throat> We've got lots of sales that are going on right now at Farmer John's Greenhouse uh, and Home Center. A special offer for Live in the D viewers. If you mention Live in the D, uh, when you go to the, their place in Farmington Hills, you will receive 10% off your house plant purchase, which is cool enough. That offer is good through next Sunday. That's right. And at the boutique, hats, gloves, and scarves are buy one get one free and select winter coats are half off and also holding a massive holiday clear out sale right now because there's so much cool stuff that's there for the holidays farmer john's home and garden is a great place for plants so much more if you haven't been there you really owe it to yourself to drive up you're located right there at haggerty road in farmington hills for more information you can check them out on their website at farmerjohnsgreenhouse.com it is always great to see always. you thank you wonderful you tips me. and the whole takeaway right it, don't, be don't be intimidated don't be intimidated come talk to us. Yeah. We, we have an educated staff. We're more than happy to help you out. Good to see Great. you again. Thank you so Thanks. much. And